Welcome back to History at War, where we dive into the captivating and forgotten history of World War II. Today, we have an incredible forgotten battle to share with you. One that unveils the astonishing courage and strategic brilliance of a German panzer division. In this episode, we'll explore how a single panzer division not only halted, but nearly annihilated an entire Soviet tank army. It involved a German panzer division that single-handedly halted and nearly annihilated an entire Soviet tank army. This extraordinary battle occurred in a remote location, far from the major war theaters. The German army unit involved was known as the Army Detachment Hollet, which was a relatively weak force that existed for only a few months. It was formed in November 1942 and comprised mixed combat groups, including rear units from the 6th German Army that had not been trapped in the Stalingrad pocket. Assigned with the task of defending the Lower Don River line, the Army Detachment Hollet had its strongest division, the 11th Panzer Division, under the command of General Hermann Balk. Which was around 25 tanks strong, General Balk was one of the most experienced commanders in the entire German army, renowned for his tactical brilliance and leadership skills. In early December 1942, the front line was relatively stable as the Red Army focused its efforts on breaking the German resistance at Stalingrad. This stability allowed the 11th Panzer Division to arrive in the area and prepare for the impending battle, ensuring they were well equipped and strategically positioned. On the night of December 7th, under the cover of darkness, the 1st Tank Corps of the Soviet 5th Tank Army, which was around 300, 850 tanks strong, numbers vary. They launched a surprise attack. They skillfully crossed the river and penetrated deep behind the left flank of the 336th Infantry Division catching the German forces off guard. Exploiting this advantage, the Soviets managed to capture State Farm 79, where the supply columns of the German division were located. The Soviets consolidated their position, preparing for a major assault the following day. Upon receiving news of the Soviet attack, General Balk swiftly assessed the situation and formulated a response. Recognizing the importance of the left flank, he quickly ordered his engineer, anti-tank, and anti-aircraft battalions to screen the infantry division's vulnerable flank, effectively halting any further Soviet advances and creating a defensive barrier. On December 8th, as the Soviets began their offensive, the 11th Panzer Division unleashed a fierce counterattack. With General Balk leading from the front, the division executed a well-coordinated assault, striking with precision and audacity. The German tank crews, known for their exceptional training and combat experience, unleashed a torrent of firepower upon the Soviet forces. By the end of the day, the Soviet 1st Tank Corps had lost 53 tanks and was essentially destroyed, their remnants scattered and disorganized. In the subsequent days, the 11th Panzer Division, now operating as a rapid response force, became a formidable adversary for the Soviet troops. They swiftly eliminated any attempts by the Soviets to establish breakthroughs, employing lightning-fast maneuvers and exploiting weak points in the enemy's defenses. On December 19th, General Balk's forces launched a daring surprise attack against a superior Soviet force, catching them off guard and inflicting heavy losses while sustaining no casualties of their own. It was a remarkable display of tactical prowess and decisive action. Following this monumental battle, the situation along the Lower Don River line stabilized. The Soviet 5th Tank Army, battered and demoralized, lost all of its units, systematically eliminated by the relentless onslaught of the 11th Panzer Division. General Balk attributed their resounding success to several key factors. The poor training and coordination of the Red Army, the strategic utilization of night marches and surprise attacks, and the concentration of German forces against the piecemeal Soviet assaults. For his exceptional leadership and outstanding achievements, General Balk was honored with the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds. General Balk's leadership played a pivotal role in the success of the 11th Panzer Division. His experience and tactical acumen allowed him to make swift decisions, effectively countering the Soviet offensive and turning the tide of battle in favor of the German forces. The clash between the 11th Panzer Division and the Soviet tank army was an intense struggle, marked by daring maneuvers, devastating counterattacks, and unwavering resolve. The German tank crews, renowned for their training and combat expertise, exhibited exceptional skill, ultimately inflicting heavy losses upon the enemy. And that brings us to the end of this riveting chapter in World War II history, where we explored the incredible achievements of the 11th Panzer Division and General Hermann Balk. Together, 
they faced the daunting task of halting and ultimately defeating an entire Soviet tank army. Rest in peace for all of the Soviet and German soldiers that fell during this. We shall keep the memory alive. We have been history at war, and we will see you guys soon.